Hello, everyone. And welcome to a Saturday. I could go longer. Do you want me to? Mama, mama, oh wait, what was that? Da, do it, da, 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 da. Wow, we just did two SpongeBob references in one. It's like a two for it. It's a bogo. If this was a drinking game, thoughts and prayers to your liver. Don't make a drinking game out of SpongeBob references. Welcome to What's on Saturday. How is everyone? How was the week? How are the kids? How are the? How's the family? Kids were good this week. How's the family pet? Kids were good this week. We had fun Friday. We had a great time. We had a fun yeah. Friday. Yeah. Yeah. We color. And I get to get stuff done. I had a good week too. Lots of work. Lots of work. Lots of work. But lots of payoff. Good payoff. I have not only had amazing finds this week, as you guys know, as you guys know half of, but I have also had a really good sales week too. So this has been, oh, uh, like put in the work and mm -hmm. the gears roll the and it comes out. Turn reward as you like put in more work this has been yeah. quite nice because i've been working my butt off but it was a good sales week i feel like school was really easy for me this week we're kind of in this like middle project space so like there isn't a whole lot of like new teaching going on right now which is like oh, mm -hmm. super nice so i was able to like get some stuff listed this week i got a whole bunch of stuff photographed last weekend that's been just like trickling on which i think has been very much helping me because it shows the internet that I am still alive. It shows the Poshmark <laughs> demon that I am still here. Kicking, yeah. <laughs> so Debbie's out of town right now. She's, yes, in, she she's in Washington, D.C. She's on a little girl's trip. So I've had some extra time this week. So I actually have gotten almost everything from the haul on Thursday up. So if anyone was looking for anything, mm -hmm. basically all of that stuff is up. I have not even started with part two yet. I haven't even filmed part two yet. I'm actually <laughs> filming them on separate days. That's but fine. I'm very excited about that. I've been liking reading all your comments. You guys do seem as excited about my haul as I am. And... Yeah, I've that, seen that it. was a good haul. If you haven't seen I've it, seen go check out that haul. And the part two is coming up on Thursday. But we're here to talk sales, not not new things coming in. So this is the week of the 20th through the 26th. Like I said, it was a good one. I do have some eBay. eBay was pretty good, but then like Posh was banging. I have two eBay, a Mercari, and some Posh. I actually think, I also have, I think, three Mercari as well. So good. it was pretty good all around. No Depop this week though. Yeah. Depop was, she was quiet on the Western front. Mm -hmm. She was. Weird. All the Western girlies with yeah. their Western wear on Depop. I don't know where the kids went this on week. The wild they wild went away. Guys. That's okay. Yeah. I wanted to introduce my shirt. We don't always do it, we sometimes do. But that's because this is a Bolo brand that I'm sure not, not a ton probably know this one. I didn't but know. This is a brand called Marine Serre. And this is the logo to that brand is these like little moons there's like a couple lines in marine saray and some of them are just like fully made by like her factories mm -hmm. or whatever and it's like all printed like this but then she has a line that's called like the white label or the green label or something and that's what this is from this and is she like label. chops up old t-shirts yeah. and old like vintage she's like stuff a recycler and puts it back together and then puts a patch of this which i'm also saying she is a total assumption i don't know if it's a she it, I would it could just so. be a brand name i have no clue but marine saray Cue the Bolo notebook doing its little jig down there. My yeah. t-shirt is a dollar from the Goodwill. <laughs> and it rips because I think this was like a bleach size shirt. And every time I wash it, there's a new hole. Lovely. That's fine. That's it's a lounge in t-shirt. kind of a thing with your clothes. It's they, just new they holes and new literally stage. literally just <laughs> fall apart. <laughs> okay, so we will jump into what you guys are actually here for. Four minutes in as per usual. <laughs> the first thing that you guys are here for, and the Valentines are here for, is the Valentine VIP of the week. Who is it gonna be? And this week is a good duty of ours. That wonderful girl. And this week, it's a good Judy of ours, and that is Shannon. We love a Shannon. Shannon leaves, like, the nicest she's comments so on all our videos, and she's always shopping our closet. She's so sweet. So Shannon's username is ShannyB5. It's S-H-A-N-N-Y-B-5. She will be the first link below, but you are looking at her closet right here, right now. And Shannon oh. is, like, a shoe lady. Like We love a shoe queen. Skip DSW. We love and go to a Shan shoe queen. Go to Shannon's Posh. Actually, she has much better stuff than DSW. And also, I think DSW is closed. No, DSW is still open. Are Payless they? is closed. Payless did sit down. Yeah. So Shannon has all kinds of good stuff. She's got Fry. She's got Allbirds. She has mm -hmm. Veronica Beard shoes. Shannon's got all kinds of really good shoes. So go show Shannon some love. Everybody say love. 
live. <laughs> that sure. was fun. Shannon doesn't get the loudest one, which is okay. But you yeah, don't want to death on anybody. She's the first link below and leave her comments, leave her, leave her some shares, yeah. give her some likes, and even maybe make a purchase. Get you a new pair of shoes. Yeah. So moving on to the sales for the week, we are going to start off. Let's just do Mercari. Let's get it out of the way. Let's, let's do, knock let's, her out. Yeah. Let's do Mercari first. So I have three on Mercari that I would like to talk about to you guys today. One. My first one is a Eugenia Kim brimmed chunky hat, chunky chain detail hat, I believe. And this was an amazing Vince find. Eugenia Kim is also a Bolo brand that mm -hmm. some of you might not know, but she specializes in hats. She might make some other accessories, but she's mainly a hat lady. She's a milliner. Maybe. A hat maker, a miller, milliner, millery. This hat sold for $98. And I don't exactly know what I'm going to get. And this is another one of those sales that if you watch the ship with me that went up over Christmas, I was talking how about how I had a Filson package in limbo. I just found out this morning that this package is also in limbo and it has no tracking history, even though I gave it to UPS right over the counter and watched them scan it. Yay. Ding. It's <laughs> joy. Next up, I saw these Ray-Ban RB3132 metal frame square sunglasses. This We're getting close to the end of the sunglasses and eyeglass saga. It is true. Truly the end of a saga. I don't want to say an era. No. No, it's, it's not an era. She's I will chapter. never have We're coming an era. to the end of the chapter. I'll never have an era of selling eyewear. It's just it's easy, but it's like not my favorite. Sold for 40. And then this is also a bolo brand. That's a newer one. It is called Rab, literally just R A B. Hmm. And they are a down puffer making brand, but they also I think make other outerwear. This was a down pink zip puffer jacket, sold for sixty five. Damn. I got it for five bucks at one of my favorite Goodwills. And these can go for much more, but this one wanted the like cuff was kind of like detached. Like you could easily oh. just stitch it back on and no feathers were coming out or anything, I but know like yeah, I could have probably got a hundred or like one fifteen if it didn't have that. So it's a scahoop situation. It is a if you would like to call it scahoop da hoop. A scahoop doop. <laughs> Thank you. You need to just How put a tattoo I... on your forehead that just doop doop, but it's spelled D O O O O P. <laughs> D O O P E. D H O O P. Doop. Anyway, my one and only on Mercari. I thought this was gonna be a deep pop sale. But, as we've said before, the Y2K girlies on the Depop and the Y2K girlies on Mercari exist in very similar universes. Mm -hmm. This pair of Dance Go Distressed 90s Black Red Y2K Chunky Clog shoes, they had the really cute little silver buckle on them as well. These were a good Y2K staple. Like, this is a good Y2K shoe. Mm -hmm. And they're comfortable. They sold for $52. I listed them at $65. I thought this was a really good offer. And I make, like, something. And I make some money. And I will profit. Okay, so moving on to eBay. On eBay, I have a number of sales to share with you guys. I think it's six. We got so, two. So my first one, another new Bolo brand to add to the list, and that is called Stork, S-T-O-R-Q. It is a maternity brand, and they mainly make, like, leisure and comfort, which is what a pregnant person needs. You don't so that's need a good, that's a, yeah, you don't need like the leggings. We no. don't need to go for a run. We can no. just sit sometimes. Like, mm -hmm. that's okay. <laughs> you have something, you have a human being. So this was a two piece tank top set and it only sold for 30, but it was doing really good. And it did have like a spot that I could not get out of it. It could have once again went for more and Stork is definitely a new Bolo brand. I'm mm -hmm. keeping in mind. Next up, I sold the Zara rhinestone button double breasted tweed blazer. This was just in the consignment shop with me video. This sold for $45 and that's great. I don't usually imagine Zara selling on eBay, so that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Then I sold this J Crew 2023 Liberty London collaboration Thorpe Hill printed blouse. That was love, a really good bit sign. Love Liberty J Crew. Mm -hmm. Sold for $37.72, so it must have been an offer that I sent out because you just do like a percent. And that was not sold through promotion, which is nice. Then I sold this cool soft blue pullover hoodie for $25. It did sell through promotion, but it's kind of feeding the idea that I had that maybe cool does a bit better on eBay versus other platforms. Yeah. I still am going to be really hesitant with it. If I find a lighter weight piece, mm -hmm. I might give it another shot, but I'm not ready to like jump on the cool bandwidth. It's a it. good like bread and butter bins find. Like if you find one in nice Certain condition. stuff, yeah. Because like I've found like really bad like pants and shorts. Like yeah. old men. No, we'll like, leave that behind. Yeah. We'll leave her there. Then I sold, this was an arbitrage from Poshmark. I've been arbitraging on Posh a little bit more frequently. We both have it. A I little bit more frequently Ooh, lately. It's... It was a Christian Dior rare silk monogram printed large tie. It just had like the Dior, Diorissimo. 
print all throughout and it sold for $95. I think I paid 40 after shipping, which was great. So mm -hmm. double my money, but it was really cute. And last up was my best one on eBay. And this was a wild, wild sale. So I sold this Ralph Lauren tribal Western Aztec print wool hooded coat. Beautiful just the kind so of Ralph pretty. Lauren that you want, anything so like this. So pretty. And as I think we've said before, when it's this really good like print like this, and especially if it's like a good material like wool, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what label's in it. It could be Polo Country, it could be Polo, it could be Blue Label Ralph Lauren, it could be even the green Very Lauren strong. Ralph Lauren, because this was the green label, which I is think usually- I had a green label too, and it sold for like $300. Yeah, which is usually known as they're like, this can be bought at Macy's line. But no, it doesn't really matter when it's this type of nice stuff because this sold for three three hundred dollars i had it listed for four hundred and that was a great freaking offer we love a good so, offer and the oh. buyer even paid shipping so thank you to them for that thank you that i think that was the turnstile find for like 20. immediately Something if like i would that. have seen it for 25 or 30 i would have said yeah thank you and it needed some like deep hilling so i think that when i was buying it they were like oh this actually isn't in that good a shape let me give you like an extra 10 percent off and i was like okay okay, okay sure okay, fine you. with me sure never, I, I never guess. deny a gift I guess. Sure. Okay, well, we are taking a couple of steps down for my eBay sale. The first one was a new item that I got in the bins that I will show you as an image when we get to the haul. Was the Torrid Curb XO. And you guys haven't even seen us go to the bins yet no. because that's coming up on Tuesday. We yeah. have not. So this is one thing that I got this haul. Yeah. Torrid Curb XO Plunge push-up bra and this really nice faux leather. This was like one of those little tops, but it was also a bra. Sold for 1840. Is that just like bralette then? I don't if know. If it can be I worn think that Word is like shadow too. band. Oh. I don't think people call them bralettes anymore. Really? I don't think so. I definitely do. I think they're brahmies. Really? I think. I think they're brahmins. Maybe. <laughs> 1840 for that one. Good little bread and butter sale. This next one I was kind of surprised about, but I was very excited. A Hobo International Green Suede Y2K a Top Handle Bag. Sold for $65 and the buyer paid shipping. So I make like 50, 52, 53, somewhere in there. 2023, moving into 2024, I can feel some of the fashion pendulum swing and Athleta is moving back to Nolo. Levi's is moving a bit Nolo, which makes me really sad. Yeah. And Hobo International is totally back Just into like swing. Bolo. Mm -hmm. So we definitely got some some switches and changes yeah. going on. Okay, moving on to Poshmark. Like I said, week of 20th through 26th. On the first day, we started off slow. We had one sale. We had two sales. That's okay. My first sale, and it wasn't even that good, <laughs> was the Mod Cloth Peppa Loves Tropical Jungle Printed Mini Dress. This was from the bins, like, last week. Sold for 25 I get 20 Cost me probably, like, two sale. bucks. Easy little we'll sale. My first on the 20th was also a little lower dollar moment. It was this Varley Mojave Snake Sports Bra Legging Set. I think this was just really tiny. It was an extra small, and it looked really small. And uh, Varley, as I said a number of times, very good. Varley, Varley uh, kind of a dud. Varley's kind of outdoor voices. She's esque. kind of a she's kind of a dudley, yeah. but that's okay. So for twenty five, I make twenty. This was a Poshmark arbitrage find, but I got it for like four dollars because I bought a bundle of like fifteen things. Mm -hmm. But that was a while ago, so like I've had it forever. Sell it, get out of my life. This one is another one of those like Zara crop textured tweed button blazer. Zara just doesn't. Things I'm breaking Even up with in 2024, it's... the idea that like the cuter Zara pieces are the blogger favorites. Don't no care. Zara. Don't care. Zara Take your is Zara a bins to only style situation. Encore. They Zara really is high. bins only. Yeah, no thanks. Mainly. No thanks. Like 99% of the time. Did you say what you sold it for? I sold it for 32 mm -hmm. and I make 22. Which isn't awful, time. but like yeah. for a Zara blazer, new tags, you should be able to It do was better. a bins find now. And you've had that. it for a while. I have had those for a while. Yeah. Especially a bins find for you means you've had it for a long time. <laughs> Moving on to the 21st, I had four. One, two, I had four as well. Why? My first sale was a baby bundle and it went to one of you. So I believe this person's name is Liana because that is in their user name but if that's like your child or something i do apologize but liana made a bundle of baby stuffs and she got the burberry girls tiered cotton novacek little bow tie tea tail skirt along with this brand called honey and hide they were some baby leather tied booties and together she got them for 25 and i get 40 so thank you liana then I sold, this was kind of surprising, and this was probably now my oldest listing I had in my closet. Mm -hmm. And I will be very weary with this now. Missoni Chevron Bandeau Knit Dress. This, I believe, was from M. Missoni. So 
Which there's like hardly a difference. There is in feeling hardly. and in vibe. There Sometimes is not a there difference is, but not always. Things. This sold for 150 and I get 120 which is great. Mm -hmm. But keeping in mind that I've had it for probably like four years doesn't make it great. No. So yeah. Then one of my faves from probably one of my favorite brands to sell ever, Nation LTD. This was the Mary Satine Boxy Gold Satin T-shirt. Literally just like a t-shirt. Sold for 27. I get 21.60. That was probably 50 cents at the bins. Perfect. Then Melody popped into my closet and lived up to her title of being the coach queen. She's the coach queen. And she got the Literally. coach Christy tan leather satchel bag that I got maybe like a month and a half ago. And Melanie has been waiting. <laughs> she is a, the, she's patient. As Be I say to you guys, like the shoes and especially the bags and wallets and stuff take me a hot minute because I just don't do that every time I take pictures. She popped in instantly and got this for 67. I get 5360. Thank you so much, Melanie. And Such I would pay so to see cute. Melanie's coach collection. I oh, like I would love to. My Film job. the video. Yeah. <laughs> Film the like closet walkthrough. The closet the walkthrough to my coaches. My first on the 21st. This may sound a little familiar because I got returned. Oops. <laughs> Ugh, Kelly Green Classic Short Mini for booties. I listed them as the wrong size. Womp womp. What are you going to do? My bad. What I'm only human. You, you could list them as the right size. That's very true. <laughs> That's also very true. They sold, I think, the first time for 65. They sold the second time for 52. And I will make 38.62, which I still think is pretty good. My next one on the 21st is another Zara moment. This was mine. And I wore it one time last summer and it didn't fit anywhere. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll sell this. And I just got around to finally posting it. Zara patchwork chain print oversized little tunic top situation. It was a really cute print though. The matte vibe gave me very Hermes, mm -hmm. which I thought was nice. Sold for 25, I will make 20. My next was a nice little Madewell sweater, Madewell olive green merino wool blend, little puff sleeve sweater, sold for 30, I will make 2102. And then Miss Melanie came in and bought herself a little dress. The beautiful Anthropology flannel dress, this was Anthropology and Kelly Louise Gerald. Cute. If I'm not mistaken, that was also supposed to be in this bins haul. But I got it posted, and Melanie said... <laughs> He's like, I'm not waiting. She said, I'm not waiting. that's really funny. I need my dress. And I said, here you go. So, Melanie, <laughs> you will see your purchase in an upcoming video. It's yes, like, you it's absolutely like time will. travel. It is like a time warp. She just <laughs> looks into her coat, and she can like, bloop. Suddenly she's, like, she's 10 wow. years in the future. Suddenly she's in the prehistoric time. So <laughs> she that got could be a her. book. Melanie and the time-traveling purses. Each purse is a different <laughs> time period. <gasps> oh, my gosh. If anyone out there is like a child book writer. Authors. Ghost authors, call me. I can illustrate. She got it for $52 and I will make $38.62. Thank you, Melanie. Moving on to the 22nd, I had three. I had four. Another one of my favorite brands ever to mm -hmm. sell. Filson Cobalt and Gray Scout Button Shirt. I've now sold this twice. Sold for $61 and I get $45.82. If I could find Filson every time I leave the house... I would take that. Then, Marceline popped into my closet. And Marceline, Love. the... Uh, denim No. Queen. I mean, she's kind of the denim queen. But she's denim. um the, the quiet queen. luxury queen. She's the quiet luxury queen. Yes, Marceline, she is. Marceline, the quiet luxury Free queen. queen. <laughs> she purchased this Free People and Levi's loose cargo green pair of pants. So cute. Sold for $39. I get $31.20 and they are so trendy. So she's on the cargo. So she's cute. she's oh. a going with the car going. She's car going. Please. Yes. Then I sold these Moschino Biker Moto Leather Zip Snap ankle boot heel situations. These are not like exactly my favorite style. I they love the moto jacket. I love the moto jacket look to the shoe. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it's like a heel. It hits on a weird part of the thing. Foot. I'll Not my favorite. So I did accept an offer for 200 I had them marked quite a lot higher, but I was kind of like, let's move on. <laughs> sure. And I get 160 so that's great. I still made money, for sure, but yeah, nice to have them skied out a lot of here. My first on the 21st was a J Crew. It was this really beautiful brown Bristol convertible. What are these called? Mm -hmm. Satchels. There we go. Sold for $55. I will make 15 I had this listed at like one something, and I just kept marking it down, marking it down, and somebody finally sent me 55 bucks. I mm -hmm. think I just marked it. I think the Madewell bags do good, and the J Crew bags don't do as good as they like they used to. Definitely. I'm going to keep it in the back of my head. I will make $44. My next one, this one also got returned. <sighs> Free people, white thermal casual clash top. This was one of those ones of like buyer never just like accepted it. Like it just came back, and I messaged like him. A and I was like, or yeah, and I was like, hey, I have your shirt. Hmm. 
weird. Okay. So for $30, I will make 24. And then my next Southern 22nd was a pretty good sale for me. A Balenciaga white ribbed little intimate set. This set sold for $112 and I will make $89.60. And then my next on the 22nd was a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. It was the Curve Love something in a size 32. They sold for $29 and I will make $20.22. I definitely wouldn't pay up much for Abercrombie jeans. Things I'm breaking up with in 2024. I think we jumped Paying on the bandwagon jeans. like the last two months because like I had never mm -hmm. really picked them up and then suddenly last year I was like okay everyone has luck with these up. I'm gonna pick them up and I did have luck with them for yeah. like a month and a half and, and, that month now, and a half has it's, it's over now so mm -hmm. I would be weary with those. I'll of. get them in the bins though I did oh, yeah. find Oh, yeah. Found a cute pair in the bins, and I'll be showing y'all a little bit later. Mm -hmm. A lot of hinting at this. I bins. know. I like this. On the 23rd, I had four. Uno. My first sale was a new bowler brand. Once again, it's called Golden Sun. And this was the Hello Sunshine Cashmere Sweater. It's literally take Lingua Franca and throw her onto the beach of Miami. Miami. There she is. And that's what this brand She's is. She's having a vibe. So this sold for $95. And I get 76 I had it listed at like 130 but like, <laughs> on a Ben's sweater, I'm not going to pass up on 95 big ones, man. I know. Then... It's right there. This is a big one. She's staring at us. This is the big one. This is the big one from the week. So I sold this Max Mara stitching detail leather structured blazer. So trendy. Leather. Max Mara. Max Mara leather. <gasps> I can't <sighs> imagine the retail on this. Probably like $3,000. I'd say three to five. Insane. This sold for $472 while we were at a Minnesota Wild Hockey game, I will say. Yeah. They won that <laughs> while game. While I was eating a dome dog, I made $472. <laughs> we had happy hour and they had hot dogs. And Not we... me getting an offer on this really luxurious coat and I'm just like sitting there with like a hot dog and a beer and I'm like, Oh, a hot dog in the wrapper with like the condiments everywhere and I have, the like, plastic ketchup cup all over of my beer. mouth. I'm like, oh. <laughs> hey, cool. Ugh. That was fun. Bad mental image. And I will get three hundred and seventy-seven and sixty cents for this. I could see myself paying a little over a hundred. I'll have to check back. I probably have it somewhere. Obviously, yeah. I have it for record somewhere, but at the most, like one fifteen. I'd probably pay for this. Mm -hmm. So that's a great sale. Good sale. Then I sold this Aviator Nation Rainbow Western printed sweatshirt. Also wild at this. For some reason, we had some luck when we were at this game. You uh, were having This sold for 150 and I get 120 That was a bin sign that did take a while, but I'm mm -hmm. glad it finally sold. And then I sold these Athleta Wander Slim Split Ankle Pants for 35 and I get 28 Cute little sale. Cute little bread and butter. My one and only on the 23rd was this really cute dress. Love the color. Eloquie Kelly Green Ruffle Sleeve Plus Size Dress sold for $20 and I will make 16 You like green? Shocker. Hmm. I wish I had something on today. I don't think I've ever told you, but my favorite color was green for like the entire beginning of my life. Up until I was like really? 17. Like I was obsessed with green. I green bedroom. I was a blue girlie. Really. You had bedroom. a green bedroom? Mm -hmm. But... I, it was because I was obsessed. I had a beige bedroom. <laughs> I was obsessed with frogs. Oh, that's where that comes from. I didn't and know And like, stereotypically, frogs are like green. So I liked like uh, red-eyed tree frog green, basically, like the Ooh. body. So it's a lighter green. Like a neon green. Not neon. Or like a leaf but green. But definitely a not Kelly green. Not a Kelly green. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a forest girly. A, yeah. a dark green. On the 24th, I had five. As I was doing this, I was like, there's five, like a dance. Five, 10, 15, 20. <laughs> I know you see somehow oh, the yeah. world will change for me and be so wonderful. <laughs> okay, anyway. How many Nickelodeon shows can we I know one one we're gonna go. get there and be so wonderful. Oh my gosh, we're kind of like do oh my gosh. Our lives turned into iCarly. They did. Oh my god. <laughs> we're making a little video for the internet right now. <laughs> Anyways. That brings full me circle so moment. much joy. That I am iCarly. I'm Sam, you're Carly. Yeah. Sam's like more emo-y. But just... I'm also kind of Freddy at the same I'm like a Freddy no, Sam. No, you're absolutely Freddy. I'm like I would be um the mom. Mrs. Benson. <laughs> <laughs> wet and sticky makes I use that very at icky. school all the time. Sticky and wet makes mommy upset. Yeah. It's so funny. Okay, so anyways, on to the sales. <laughs> My first sale. 
was another J. Crew Liberty sale. And it was the J. Crew Liberty Floral Honeysuckle Printed Blouse for 35 and I get 28. Then I sold this Urban Outfitters Denim Forum Plaid Jacket. It took Ryan and I 138 years to realize that Denim Forum was an Urban Outfitters brand. <laughs> Had no clue. You'd think we would know. Yeah, especially, yeah, this household, I know. Sold for 32, I get 23.58, that was really nice. Then I sold this Lululemon Swiftly Tech Two Long Sleeve, sold for 42, I get 33.60. Love us swiftly. Everyone at the bins had skipped it, and I was like, for what? Thank you. For why, for what, and for Easy when. Easy $30. Then I sold this Sundance Fair Isle full zip sweater. Sold for mm. $46, and I get $36.80. That was in like a thrift with me at some point. That was Cute. like nine bucks at Goodwill. Then I sold this another bolo brand mini rodini cherry lemonade tiered girls dress for 23 and i get 1638 i love this is so precious i, it. So I wish good. i could buy mini rodini for mike <gasps> and will Oh my god, if they it is the cutest things. clothes ever. Then I sold a bundle to once again Marceline. She's the kind of good queen. Taste. She got this Everive polo collar knit pullover sweater along with this Aritzia Wilfred Free pair of modern yes. utility pants. So she's got she's got all the pockets for all the things. She does have in all, all of her pants now. Who needs a bag? So for sixty eight and I get fifty two thirty eight. So thank you once again, Marceline. That's it for my twenty fourth. Did you not have any? Okay, 25th, I had three. I didn't have any either. <gasps> I was busy. Oh. First sale was Anthropology Pilcro Rare Nautical Sailing Skirt. Sold for 36. I get 28.80. Then I sold this Sundry, which shocks me that Sundry mm -hmm. still sells. I would have considered it a no low, but this did pretty good. Wool Some cashmere striped pullover sweater. Sold for 22. I get 17.60. And last up, I sold this. I love this brand. <laughs> I think the name is so... Tutsu Hawaiian Floral Hibiscus Printed Skirt. Usually this brand sells for a lot more. I think the way you say it is also just super... Tutsu. <laughs> Sold for 25, I get 20. Oh, you can get fun. more for Tutsu. <laughs> but I don't know. I, it's just such this a didn't have as say. much likes as I wanted it to, so I just like hacked the price in half. I had it listed mm -hmm. for 50, and one of the people that liked it was like, okay, I'll take it for that Thank much. You. That's it for my 25th. Then on the 26th, the last day of what sold Saturday, I had nine. I had four. Which in comparison, I will say is equal to your nine. My first sale was a really good one once again and mm -hmm. kind of shocking. This is one of those luxury brands to be super cautious with. Do Fine tooth the comb, research. the biggest magnifying glass. Jimmy Choo <laughs> Zania 65 trendy square toe heels. These sold for $300 and I get $240. I honestly didn't even expect to get that much. And Jimmy Choo is so hit. Or miss, or miss, or miss, or miss, or miss. Most of it is a miss. Mm -hmm. But these were like from 2023 or 2022. So I felt more confident in them. They were on like Farfetched and I think one Essence of the good things, all the good if sites. you are going to get one, is if it's within the past five years. Absolutely. Anything like, could be sure. on that, like, yeah. Wearing. I know. Then Alexandra popped into my closet and Alexandra quickly purchased the vintage handmade batik printed cotton skirt. She commented on the video while I was posting this. <laughs> and like, as I was going to respond to her comment, she was going to tell me to list this. And she just purchased it. I love and, that. Or she made an offer. And so, yeah, she got this for 32 and I get 25.60. So, thank you so much, Alexandra. <laughs> then I sold the Brahmin Teal Croc Embossed Leather Brass Body Bag. For 31, I get 22.78. This was in not the best shape. And I did have instant regret purchasing it. Because it's quite dirty on the inside. The brown, the brown, those browns, those brown bags. Yeah, but I paid like thirteen for this, and there's tax on bags. So I was like, Jack, you made use your eyes next. Somebody time. has a bag, and you made a couple of dollars. But I saw these Aritzia Levi's five hundred one. Can't can't tough this. Probably supposed to be touch. I was like, oof, wow. Distress <laughs> jeans sold for forty six. I get thirty four seventy eight. Those were new with tags. Then I saw this Everlane Mock Neck Cable Knit Sweater for 25 and I get 20 And then I sold a bundle. And I guess this could be a viewer because these were both from the haul, but they didn't say anything. <laughs> but I sold the Reformation Tie-Dye Cotton Joggers along with the Crate and Barrel CB2 Illusion Printed Pillowcases. Yes. Thank you for taking these because... The more I would see them, the more I'd want to keep them. But we I have so many pillows. Obsessed with them, and we yes. don't really have a room where this makes sense. We only sense. have two couches and two beds yeah. to put 
The spare bedroom so is like things. not this colorway. The living room is not this colorway. No, it's downstairs not. we have kind of like kitschier stuff. So like mm -hmm. sold for seventy two, I get fifty seven sixty. So thank you, mystery person. And then I sold these Prada patent strap heeled square toe heels for twenty five. Twenty five. Thankfully not $25. For $250 and I get $200. Those are so cute. I've had them for a while, so I was willing to let them go for $250. Mm -hmm. Then I sold this J. Crew 2022 Nova Fides Tan Fall Flare Pants. Nova Fides was the like Italian, oh, um, the Italian fabric collaboration. That they used. Sold yeah. for $31. I get $22.78. And last on the week was another bundle. So this was kind of a bundle week. Free People Cara Seamless Bralette, which I have not sold a Free People Bra or Bralette in a million yeah, years. Athleta, Athleta, am I okay? No. <laughs> Athleta Salutation Soft Tall Camo Joggers and Theta <laughs> Elation High Rise Leggings. So we got Athleta. And then we got Well, Theta. no, it says Athleta. <laughs> I read it wrong. And then the other one says Theta. Sold for 110 and I get 88. Like I said, I worked a lot this week, okay? And this is one of the last things I listed. And I was about to fall asleep when I was listing these. And then That's I okay. did take a nap. And I haven't taken a nap in years. Jack is not a nap person. I, I am an advocate napping. of naps. I he napping. is like anti-nap. And I think, I, think I listed these athletas as the last thing before you... I fell asleep for my nap. So that's why they're <laughs> thetas. Thetas? Thetas. Theta. I love yeah. that. My first on the 26th was a good sale. It was this vintage coach. Here's a little tip that I picked up from somebody somewhere on the internet. When you call it putty leather, for those really nice, squishy vintage coach bags, like after you've conditioned them, that's what this was. Mm -hmm. Putty leather, 3944 crossbody. I think there was a name to this, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I put it like maybe da -da 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 bag in the description. Sold for $180. This was a little $20 unique pickup. I was so excited. And I will make 144. That's great for a vintage coach now. Oh. That's another thing that I'm slightly breaking up. Breaking up with the common I'll get them vintage at the coach bags. And so or if they're the like band. $10 that you make. Yeah. If they're cheap. I will never, because like I will not pay up for them. Unless it's a rare one. Because there are still some like little unicorn ones hanging out over there. This was a little like, ugh. Oh. But it was also like, I think I was kind of not playing the same game as the people that are buying the actual versions of this. Betsy Johnson Vintage 90s Y2K Rare Little Cabochon Necklace. There are some of the vintage Betsy Johnson jewelry pieces that are worth like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Like her dresses. The vintage stuff, the rare stuff, like the punk stuff, so ungodly expensive. Mm -hmm. This looked similar to some of those things that I was seeing that were like really expensive, but I think this might have been like a newer version mm -hmm. of some of the older stuff, maybe. Still not like new modern as in like definitely at least 20 years old, but like not the stuff from the 90s that's worth like actual $300. I think we went through the Did whole like, prehistoric Triassic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Betsy Johnson and her like. Her jewelry. Her jewelry. This is the Triceratops of Betsy Johnson. This is this. the Bronchiosaurus of Betsy Johnson. I feel like you I just like that. went through an entire timeline and I got lost in the 70s. So for $80 and I offered her free shipping because I wanted to sell this and I will make $56.03. I got this for like $7 at a turnstile. So good little pickup. My next one was one of the things from the Accursed Thread Out Mystery Box that I never wish to repeat ever again. It was this H&M Black Chunky Knit Colored a Little Open Knit Sweater. New tags. Sold for $15 and I will make $12. we are definitely on a little break from the Thread Out box. Yeah, I'm good. TTYL. Maybe next, like, holiday. <laughs> yeah. My next and last on the 26th and for this week was something from my own personal collection, which, speaking of Thread Out, she did not do me dirty with this sale. So this was a Thread Out credit back when the credit was, like, you send in the things oh, and send yeah. you the gift card. So this was literal just bins garbage that turned into <laughs> nice jeans that didn't fit me. And it was this pair of Reformation Cynthia High Rise newsprint jeans. I bought these because I thought they were really fun. Allegedly they were some kind of Kendall Kylie Jenner situation. Mm. Unbeknownst to me. So for $108 and I will make 88 40, 86 40, excuse me. That is a good is Reformation great. jean mm -hmm. sale. I feel like they used to be good. that good, but now I feel Ref like Ref kind of left we're tapering. Ref was a leave it behind in like 2023. Like it ended, I feel like in 2022. It just like doesn't do as good. Anymore. Get in the bins, but like don't oh, yeah. pay exorbitant amounts no. for it. Or like get the rare ones. My gross for this week was really good. 
It was 2,597. Thank you, Max Mara, for that one. Very much. Thank you, Mr. Max. <laughs> Mine was $845, which I feel like for me... That's great. It's pretty good. We've been having good weeks. Mm -hmm. And my net was 2,077 and 60 cents. My net was 676 dollars. Yes. So... Well, that's all we got for you guys today. It was a good sales week. I hope that continues in this next week. We have a two-person bins trip coming up on Tuesday, which we're very excited about. And then on Thursday, we gonna finish this crazy, crazy, crazy bins haul. I am excited. I can't I... wait. I've seen it, and I'm excited for like the video said, to come out. You have not seen the best yet. You have not. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, we will see you when we see you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.